most wildfires in Maine claim nowhere near those kinds of numbers. In fact, the odds are pretty good that a wildfire may not claim more than an acre or two before being put out. But it's the growing number of individual wildfires that has the Maine Forest Service and fire departments across the state nervous. In our continuing series of reports on Maine's changing climate, David Guildford looks at this disturbing trend. Springtime is wildfire season in Maine. This spring is no exception. Fires were popping, as they say. After snow melts, but before buds bloom, dead leaves and debris make for perfect kindling. We had a pretty busy spring fire season, and uh, that usually is from the middle of April till about Memorial Day. Specialist Kent Nelson is a forest ranger of 21 years. As of June 2nd, his office had recorded 388 wildfires so far this year, on pace to eclipse last year's total of 651, and that was on the heels of a 33% increase over the five years before that. A couple big things worry the Forest Service right now. The first is relative humidity. That's a measure of the moisture in the air relative to temperature. Nelson got troubling data during a recent meeting with the National Weather Service. We had a five day span where the RH was less than 20%, which means pretty active fire behavior. And he looked in the records and he had to go all the way back to 1948 to find that many days in a row with that low RH. That's troubling to me. That's a, here's a, here's a new little signal to watch out for. Patty Cormier directs the State Forest Service. Oh, and she's still a volunteer firefighter back home. Oh, I've been on fire departments for probably 25 years. Low relative humidity creates dry conditions to more easily ignite fires. Then comes another concern for her. We're getting these extreme, extreme events. As our climate changes, storms become more volatile. Droughts persist and then, in some counties, Cormier measured a week's worth of rain falling in a day last summer. But that much rain all at once doesn't help. It's coming down hard. It's not a nice, easy rain. It's not absorbing because it's just pounding and running off. Therefore, the trees are not getting that moisture. You think they are, but they're not. The good news is Maine wildfires are almost entirely preventable. So this is that fire I was talking about. According to the Forest Service, 92% of all wildfires in Maine are caused by humans. The other 8% are typically lightning strikes. We're seeing a lot of human caused starts here in Maine, more so than out west. And they can be prevented if people just make sure that fire is completely out before they leave the area. Nelson added the technology and training to fight wildfires have improved greatly over his career. They can contain them quicker and track them back to their origin. We start looking pretty much with a magnifying glass. While he and Cormier study the evolution of how wildfires spread, they're as confident as ever their rangers will find you if you're the source. David Guilford, News Center, Maine. A lot of the wildfires we see every spring are started by homeowners burning piles that get out of control. So what can you do to minimize the risk of accidentally starting a wildfire? First off, get a burn permit. It's the law. You can get one online at mainburnpermit.com. Second, keep your burn pile small enough for you to handle. And third, don't walk away from a burn pile until you know it is completely out. If conditions are dry enough, one ember can start nearby brush on fire. Now, the one bright spot is, at least for now, is that the wildfire danger in nearly the entire state is low thanks to the rain we've gotten lately and higher humidity. The only region with moderate fire risk is Region 4 in western Maine, but it wouldn't take much of a warm, dry spell to increase that risk.